you make long-term goals, short-term goals, you need how much you are worth then to track progress for financial planning and for financial security, okay? The truth is your worth is not all about net worth or money or material possession. You never begin there. That's second already. The first worth, the net worth that you will work on is this. People don't give attention to this. But in network building, this is prime. It's important. What is that? Character. Our character the main ingredient in leading a big If you are a leader without character, there will be troubles in your, your growing and in your keeping people. That's why some leaders lose people. Some leaders cannot maintain, sustain their growth because of character. This is a very important asset in our life. When we work on our character, not outside, things like connections, trust, excellence, promotions, ideas, confidence, and success, it's not far off. They will all come. I love the story of uh, Mephibosheth in the Bible. That's in 1 Samuel 4. And I know you know this story. Mephibosheth uh, was the grandson of uh, King Saul. He was uh, a young boy when uh, his grandfather and father, uh, Jonathan, went to battle. And both died. So the nanny who's taking care of him had to run for her life dropped him accidentally, and he broke both his legs. To cut the long story short, he disappeared. One day when David was king, he said, can you find anybody, any relative, and Saul? They said, we know one by the name of Mephibosheth. David said, bring him over here. You know where they found him? He was a very poor man. He was in the dump site living there. And uh, you would not think he came from a royal family. So when he was uh, shown to David, David asked him, what happened? You know what he said? Your honor, why do you look at me? And why do you bring favor to me? I am nothing but a dead dog. Imagine, imagine what's inside of him. Imagine what he thinks of himself. I am not. Why did Mephibosheth remain or became like that? Because he did not value himself. He did not see the character building that he needed. He just needs to build what's inside. Once you learn how to build what's inside, follow. Do you want to have a big network? Big network means, in alliance, big income. Huh? Big income also means big influence. Your network will be not only from your country, it's global. It will be global in nature. That's why the character traits, I want to share with you 36 all in all, but very quickly, I'll just show them to you. If you want to build a huge network in alliance, you've got, to have these character qualities. Now, I cannot go one by one. Just prepare your cameras. Take a snap, all right? Take a snap, and I want you to write them in your notebook one by one, and I want you to have a... Concerning this 36 timeless character that you need to do, you need to develop, you need to increase your worth in these character traits, okay? Here we go. I'll be reading them one by one, and uh, take a snap, okay? Alertness, attentiveness, availability, cautiousness, compassion, cooperation, courage, creativity, decisiveness. Now, in case you don't know what it means, go to Google, and it will explain to you why alertness is important to a leader. 
dependability, determination, <laughs> diligence, discipline. Is discipline important in network building? Of course. Endurance. Is endurance very important, Barnabas? Of course. You've got to endure. Enthusiasm, flexibility, forgiveness. Is this necessary? Very important. Generosity. So all of these character traits we can discuss in our team, in our group, and ask yourself daily. How am I when it comes to punctuality? How am I inside when it comes to gratefulness? Am I grateful for what I have? Am I grateful for my team? Am I grateful for the leaders that I have around me? What about sincerity? Are you sincere? Is that character trait in your life developed already? Or to develop some more? What about tolerance? Trustworthiness. Oh, man. Uh, just three days ago, I was with, in a meeting because uh, an outline here in the Philippines <laughs> is not yet even big. Imagine that guy run away with the money of his downline. And the downline is a, an overseas Filipino worker who really worked hard, sent her money to the upline, and the upline used the money. Come on. Come on. Huh? Trustworthiness. We are dealing with money here. Millions of money. Later on, billions of money. If you are not trustworthy in small things, who will entrust you with much? All right? How do we increase our worth? Let's build the inside first, our character, okay? Then we can build the outside, our business, our people, our network. You know, one example would be athletes, celebrities, and politicians. The same thing in the Philippines, in America, in Africa. It's all the same, okay? <clears throat> we find a former... Uh, uh, millionaire athletes now turning to <clears throat> poverty. Actors, very wealthy, popular, becoming poor. A president, imagine a politician, gets humiliated. He got impeached, went to jail for it. Can you imagine? Why? John Maxwell said, your son, where your character stops. I love that. All right? Can you say that in your, uh, if you have a seatmate, can you say and say that to them? Your success stops where your character stops. You can never rise above the limits of your character. Wow, wow, wow. All right? Attentiveness. Let's learn just one. Just one today. And then I'm done. Okay? If you are attentive, I guarantee you. If you're attentive, what's attentiveness? It's concentrating on the person or task in front of you. Not only does this help you learn, but it shows how much you value the person or the project in front of you. Attentiveness. Why is it important to a leader to become attentive to a person he's talking to or to the job that he's doing right now? For example, in my case, I'm talking right now. I'm, I'm training wonderful leaders in East Africa and even in South Africa, and I love what I'm doing. So I'm full attention into what I'm doing, all right? There might be distractions, but I need to be attentive, concentrating on the task before me. An example in the animal kingdom is the white-tailed deer. The white-tailed deer's attentiveness, no? It's not only with regards to his hearing. No. The deer carefully reads what he sees, what he hears, and what it smells. Why? Because his life depends on it. I, I love watching a, a documentary on, uh, on hunters. Hunters hunting deers. Huh? Last night I was watching uh, um, this kind of goat that climbs walls of uh, rocks. Huh? Uh, 
L. I, I forgot the, the term, but it's so beautiful. I watched the docu documentary and I learned how these animals move. This white-tailed deer is one of the most difficult to catch. Why? This animal is highly sensitive. When the wind blows, it can smell if there is a human being nearby. And it runs because it is highly attentive. My friends, be like the white-tailed deer. Be attentive to events, to people, people's reactions, attentive to your own reactions, and fully concentrated on your business. You will never go wrong. Huh? You will never go wrong. Attentiveness isn't always easy. Sometimes you have to silence your phone, turn off television, or face away from distractions in order to give someone the respect and attention they deserve. Okay? This is how we train for how to become attentive. I want you to write them down. You say, I will. It's like our application now. I will look at people when they speak. Yeah. Whenever you are in Africa, I heard you go face to face now in network building. When you're talking to somebody, look into the eye and speak. Ask questions if you don't understand. Okay? So if somebody's talking and I don't understand, I raise my hand. And I say, Doc, may I ask a question? Why? They love people who ask questions. Why? They're listening. It means they're attentive. And number three, sit or stand up straight. Your posture allows the person you're talking to to realize you are full attention. When you are in a business meeting, do not slouch. Sit straight, put your hand on the table, and look at the person you're talking to. Deal with them well. That's how you will react. And never draw attention to yourself. When you talk about being attentive to people, attentive to your to your team, okay? I don't talk about myself. I talk about them. I ask about what they need to learn, how I can be of help. That's how I train people for being attentive and then not be distracted by others. I train myself when I will enter the room and do something I have to program my mind so I will be fully attentive to what I do. My friends, if you are full attention, you are giving full attention, one, to the people you're talking to, you can grow a network anytime. People will talk about you. They'll say, you know, upline, that, that leader, when he talks to you, he looks straight into your eyes. He's very sincere. He's very clear when you talk about situations. I've been training a lot of 